Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of the uh, earlier uh, sketches for, for GT500. Um, and the whole thing about adding more horsepower to every Mustang and making this the fastest Mustang ever, I was like, well, it's got to be pretty damn brutal. So, and it's got to look like it breathes in a bunch of air. So, um, yeah, this is one of the earlier sketches where I, I just really tried to capture that bigger openings, um, having that full black nose grill up in the, in, in the grill. So, and, uh, yeah, I tried to make it as impactful as possible. I made it red and I printed this thing at like 60 inches high and 120 inches wide up in the studio just to kind of make my mark. And, um, yeah, it, it was definitely liked in the studio. How early in the, the GT500 process was this sketch, if you can remember? Um, this was probably uh, right around the, um, probably definitely early in the first six months. Uh, there was a lot of sketching. We had a lot of guys on it and it's almost like The Bachelor. You know, you have like 10 guys sketching on the same car and uh, and then they start, weed, they eventually start weeding out and as the, if you keep getting stuff picked, you get to stay on the program and other guys got to go into other programs. But I, I guess this is one of the ones that kind of kept, I kept getting that rose, you know, here you go. You can stay. Cause it's not yeah. far off. Like you can immediately see parts of it that made it to production. So for you, is that just like the coolest thing in the damn world? Knowing that something you just put on a piece of paper is now rolling around on the street. Oh uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. It still isn't. It still it hasn't kicked in my head because honestly, six years went by like that. I still ha I haven't had the opportunity to own a Mustang because of my student debt. But <laughs> I eventually will have a Mustang, and uh, I hope I hope to one day be able to. I think that's when I will really enjoy and really feel like that that gratification of of working on this program with this team. So um, one day it hasn't kicked in yet though. What were the initial, I mean, you, I imagine like you walked in with this and you bring it to the leads on the project and the executives, whatever. What were the initial reaction when you come in with something this low, this wide as like knowing that this is going to be the halo version of the Mustang? I think it, it really, cause you, you get to get a sketch picked and then they're like, let's put this thing on clay. Let's block it in. Yeah. Me, Len Testagusa and Jim Waskell, we, we basically we blocked it in in clay. They're amazing clay modelers, and and under Melvin Betancourt, he was my manager at the time. And we we after we were done, we blocked this this model in, and we put it out in the courtyard next to the current Mustang. And uh, you, as soon as you put it right next to the current Mustang and the GT350, you're like, that's that's easily 500 horsepower. That's that's about 600 horsepower and that GT 500, that thing looks like it's a thousand horsepower. So it was just, that's how obvious it was. And I think that's, um, and it, it all comes back to that sketch, just making it look brutal and like it breathes in all that air.